John Fedger here with mobilehomeinvesting.net. Uh, I've showed you mobile homes, I've showed you manufactured homes, uh, but have you ever seen a FEMA trailer? Most people think of a FEMA trailer as like being a little tiny RV or a little tiny fifth wheel, something that the government gives to folks after natural disasters. But this is also an example of a FEMA trailer, a normal looking vinyl sided long uh, single wide mobile home on a mobile homes chassis because it is a mobile home. It was built by a normal mobile home maker here's another one right beside it we're gonna go take a look at this one uh, vinyl windows I mean all up to date beautiful let's go ahead and take a look inside this one and you can see a few things that are different now right off the bat you see this strip going across the entire length of the mobile home. That is for a sprinkler system. I'm gonna show you that a little bit later. Uh, one of the first things I wanted to show you is that the data plate is inside the kitchen cabinet. Now, that's not what I wanted to show you per se, but I just wanted to show you that this is a Live Oak home, which is a name brand builder, and the, the uh, model number, it's a FEMA model number, which I think that's interesting. You're not gonna buy this home not knowing that it's a FEMA trailer, but it can go all around the country, and I mean, these are nice homes. These are nice uh, mobile homes, nice products. This one is interesting. They're all different shapes and sizes, and that's something that's cool that the government, when they're buying these and having these made, they're not just getting like one type of generic type of mobile home. For example, you see that there's two bathrooms right there. We'll go to that in just a second. There's a built-in right there, which I think is pretty cool. Those are coming back. And this is a shorter uh, counter. I believe it's for a wheelchair uh, accessible uh, because that is a very wide hallway. It's tough to see. Um, at the bottom of the hallway here, you see that there's a normal size bedroom. Um, let's kind of get a bigger view here. Well, it's tough to get a bigger view, but they, there is some bedding in some of these rooms you're gonna see. Um, again, beautiful windows, you know, normal material. That's drywall. All right. Oh, yeah, second bedroom. Again, the bunk beds, uh, because this is a FEMA trailer, uh, the bunk beds have, have come with this one. Now, with the FEMA situations, the government gives the FEMA trailers to folks in need uh, from a natural disaster. They're lived in once, could be for six months, could be for a year or more. And then eventually they are sold. The government gets some money back and then they do it again. They, they buy another home or they have more homes made. They give them to people. So they're basically giving them to people in need as newer homes. So this one has a, a shower set up and this one can kind of be used as an office. I think that's why both of the bathrooms are on this side. This is a three bedroom, two bath. You got a tub, you got a toilet, his and her bath to bathrooms. Uh, water heater, which is pretty normal. The only difference is in your water heater area, you probably don't have in a, a sprinkler water system. But this has been, uh, it's not connected to anything. We could have it connected, but it is not currently connected to any water. And then, yeah, as you can see, this goes the entire length of the mobile home. And I mean, underneath these caps are the official sprinkler. So, uh, but again, these are off. Uh, oops, okay. Hopefully that holds. Now, this is another interesting thing with the FEMA homes. Right here, you're like, what is this vent? Well, this is for the AC and the heat. There's actually an intake, there's a filter in there. And you can see up on the ceiling, you have the registers. And it's also in between a light and a, a flashing smoke detector. You also have another smoke detector over there. That one might be for carbon monoxide, actually. So um, 200 amp service, which is normal. And then you have the registers on the ceiling because that's where the AC and the heat come out of. You got a space for the washer and dryer over to my left, which we'll just kind of walk past that because if you've seen one of those, you've seen them all. Let's go back outside real quick because I want to show you the AC uh, and heat system because it's stuck right onto the back of the mobile home. There it is in all of its beauty. That's a package AC heat heat unit stuck to the back. You don't have to worry about it getting, uh, you know, flooding because it's on the ground or somebody stealing it. It's right there. It's not a separate charge. You don't have to rehook it up. Uh, when you buy the home, the Freon may or may not be in there, uh, but it's usually in there. It's usually charged. It's usually ready to go. Um, and that's what a that's what a FEMA trailer can look like. I hate to say the word trailer. 
I don't hate to say it, but it's definitely not a trailer. It's a nice looking home. Again, this one has a monster unit back there. I was talking to the AC guy and he said that these things are just a, a beast. They can, uh, I mean, they, they break, but they just go and go and go. And they, uh, you typically don't have too many problems with them. But these homes, again, if I can stress something, is that they're nice properties. They come in all shapes and sizes. Well, not all shapes and sizes, but they come in more than just one variety. Now, this one I like a little bit better. But look at the size of that. Uh, and the only reason I like it better is because of the floor plan a little, little bit. Um, and the countertops are obviously higher. They're now equal to the uh, stove, whereas before they were like six inches or eight inches lower. Still kind of a funky floor plan because the, the bathroom, one of the bathrooms is off of the uh, kitchen. So, you know, if you're taking a shower or something, you just kind of come out and while people are making dinner, you're just, you know, walking around half naked. Those are the two bathroom, uh, two uh, bedrooms down there. And again, you can see the, the registers on the, uh, on the ceiling because they're not in the floor. Most uh, mobile homes, we're used to having them in the floor. And again, these FEMA trailers, not all FEMA trailers will have the sprinkler systems, um, but that is a giveaway that uh, you are likely in a FEMA trailer. Again, we're at the back of the home right now. So here is where the um, AC is right here and the filter is right behind there. A normal closet, obviously. Oh, another closet, that's nice. His and her closets, unless, what is this? Oh, water heater, okay, interesting. So there's the water heater. It's got all sort of this pertinent information here that comes from FEMA and oh and again the sprinkler system just to letting you know that there is a sprinkler system interesting on this door there's the door and then there's just some drywall that's really nothing to write home about but just in so in, interesting that they've added sort of more insulation or maybe to make it a little bit quieter so you don't hear it since it's in a bedroom and then these pop-outs um, they stopped, I don't remember pop-outs from like the, they're from the 70s and I thought they looked ridiculous in mobile homes from the 70s. You'll see, uh, well not pop-outs, uh, built-ins. You'll see these built-ins uh, from the 70s and maybe sometimes from the 80s, but in the 90s they stopped and the 2000s I feel like they stopped. And then now I'm seeing them more and more where things are built in uh, and you can't move different um, uh, dressers or different bookshelves. Um, so anyway, that, those are coming back. I wonder if we'll say in 20 years. Yeah, there's another one. I wonder if we say in 20 years that they look ridiculous. Yeah, look. well, it doesn't look ridiculous, but uh, I mean, this is only getting older. You're just gonna, and when you pull it out, it's gonna, well, uh, yeah, it's gonna damage the wall a tiny bit, but I guess it is what it is. And then a normal bedroom. So that's, uh, that's a FEMA mobile home. I just wanted to show you it so that you'd be more um, educated about these. Most likely you might go your entire career and not find a FEMA trailer um, that you invest in if you're an individual mobile home investor. And that's okay, there's no problem with that obviously. Um, but if you do run into, oh, if you do run into, whoa. Oh my God, that wind almost took my hand off. Let's do that again. Whoa, okay. Okay, Ooh. okay, there we go. Wow, that's windy. Okay, well, there's the other home. All right, well, if you watched this far in the video, thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you got any questions, feel free to uh, comment them below. If you need any questions answered or you want to reach out to directly, support at mobilehomeinvesting.net. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.